Hey, this is Tyler, Technical Evangelist for Portrait Displays. In this video, we're going to show you how to calibrate an ASUS PA32 UCX, although the process can also be used for the 27-inch version of this display. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Calman menu right here, go to Open Workflow Template, go to Display Specific, and select ASUS Monitor Calibration. Now, before you start this calibration, make sure your ASUS monitor is updated to the latest firmware. You're also going to need to connect a USB cable from your computer to the ASUS monitor. Now, the ASUS monitor needs to be plugged into its USB-C port, or if your laptop does not have a USB-C port, you can use a USB-A to C cable. So you'd have the USB-A plugged into your laptop and the USB-C plugged into the monitor. Or if your laptop does have USB-C, you could just use a C to C cable. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to click on this Start Calibration button here. We're going to go to Find Meter, and we're going to make sure this top one's checked. We're going to be using our C6 HDR2000 colorimeter in this video. So I'm going to hit Search. Okay, now we're going to select the meter mode and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and we have actually one for the ASUS PA32 UCX. Okay, the next step is to connect to the monitor. So we want to select 3D LUT here and hit connect. You should see the screen flash on the screen. Okay, now we're going to connect to the built-in pattern generator that's in the monitor itself. Okay, so now we can see our monitor is connected here as a display, as a source, and our meter is, is right here. So the next step is to set up our calibration targets. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate this for BT709 100 nits D65 white point. So I'm going to change the EOTF here to power 2.4 D65 Rec 709 or BT 709 and then I recommend switching this to DEITP for increased accuracy. Okay next step is our pre-calibration measurements. Now if you're just calibrating this monitor from the first time, the custom one and two picture modes will just be at its native response. So you will just be measuring the native response. Now, if you're going to be recalibrating because you've already calibrated this mode, then it will show you your pre calibrate or what you calibrated last time in this pre-calibration capture. But since this is a new monitor has never been calibrated before, it will show us the native response of the panel. Okay, now our pre-calibration measurements are done. You can see we have an extremely large gamut here. So the next step is to reset our picture mode. So we can select calibration one or two, and you can calibrate these completely separate. So you could have one that's like a 200 nit, 2.2 gamma kind of office environment calibration. And then you could have one that's 100 nits, 2.4 gamma that is for mastering HD content um, and you could switch between them. So I'm going to select calibration one. You'll see the screen flash once that picture mode activates. And then we want to reset the current mode to its defaults. So we upload a Unity 1D and 3D lookup table in that gives us native response of the panel. So then we can do our measurements and we can create our custom calibration 1D and 3D lookup tables.
Okay, the reset is complete. Now we can start our calibration process. So we're gonna to go to our next button here. Now we're gonna set our peak luminance. So I recommend going to read continuous here. And now we're seeing we're at 500 nits. Now you can click each step right here to make it go down and up, or you can click here and enter. So um, let me go down to 10. Now we're at 136. I recommend being about, you know, five to 15% higher than your target. So let's go down to nine. eight, seven. Okay, let's, let's go with that. So we're gonna hit stop. Then we're gonna go to next. Now this is where we're gonna do our autocal of our 1D and 3D LUT. So I'm gonna hit the autocal button here. And I recommend 33 levels. I think it's a good trade-off between taking a little bit more time and accuracy and then delta e target since we're using itp delta itp i'm going to set it as at one and then hit ok Okay, so that took about 15 minutes. Now it's time to create our 3D lookup table. So we're gonna hit okay, and then we're gonna go here, and we're gonna to go to lightning LUT. Now, if you want ultimate accuracy, you can do one of our fixed grid options. Nine points does 729 points, 17 points does almost 5,000 measurements, and 21 points does close to 10,000 measurements. Usually one of those you would like let it run overnight or something. But I found great results with just the lightning LUT. Okay, so we have that selected and we're gonna hit okay. Now it's gonna take 101 readings and then it will load it into the monitor.
Okay, our lightning LUT took approximately a little over 10 minutes. So we're gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna to go to next and perform our verify luminance step. So I'm just gonna hit read single here. And we are at 101 nits, so we're good. Next step is our post calibration measurements. So we're gonna hit read series here. Okay, post calibration measurements are complete. Now we can save and generate a report or you can do additional validation where you can do the color checker or saturation sweeps. And then it will take us back to our report. So thank you very much for watching. More videos to come. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.